All right. After a long hiatus, I think we're ready to uh, get into some Amonkhet Remastered again. Hopefully, I can do a few drafts today. Um, set launches on Arena, or the new set, Zendikar Rising, launches on Arena in two days. So that's going to be super cool. Can't wait for that. And uh, we open a very strong pack in red alone. So the three best cards are all red. You hate to see it because then it's going to push the folks to your left in red. Um, so I have to decide between Deemworthy, Magma Spray, and Kenra. I think Kenra's, you know, pretty clearly the strongest card here. Um, there's also Vizier of Deferment, which is fine. Uh, Hooded Brawler's a good card as well. Um, I think I just have to. Binding Mummy's great. Onward to victory isn't that's not a thing. I don't uh, I don't wheel anything this way. I don't uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'll get back. Probably nothing. But uh, yeah, we'll, t we'll take a, a fair, decent rare here for Shaker Camera. Okay. So Vizier, I think, is the best card here. There's also a Battlefield Scavenger, which is a decent red card. Ceradon's okay. Uh, Vizier works pretty pretty damn well with Earthshaker Kenra. I don't know. Blue-White is the Embalm Eternalized deck, though, so maybe that's not where we want to be this early. I think I'm just going to take the Scavenger. There's also a Wandering Death, which is fine. Um, not a whole lot else here to consider. I'll just... Take a, a pretty medium playable, not too pumped about it. Again, three very good red cards. Uh, we have two good white cards here. I'm going to take Spray over Scrapper. Um, and Puncturing Blow, that sucks. Uh, there's also a Battlefield Scavenger, so there's four decent red cards here. Maybe, I don't think we will. And this is just, this is a good pack, but we're not going to wheel any of this. We'll probably get, you know, these two back and... Maybe like Chef well, maybe maybe we do. Maybe we do. Dauntless Haven or Scavenger comes back. Not out of the question. Alright. Uh, another good red card. We're going to just keep taking those. Another good two drop. Uh, this card is almost impossible to block. So, um, fantastic card. Super happy to pick that up. Um... I think this goes in the blue red discard cyclable type deck spells i don't know i don't know where its home is i just know it's a good two drops so we're gonna take it so no great red cards here um and no desert so the best card is probably wander in death i'm not a big fan of the red black decks in this format so it's kind of leaning me towards Evolving Wilds. Um, so I think I'm just going to take that and stay open. It might, be, it might have been incorrect. So there's a Desert here, Essence Scatter, Riddle Form, and Sarcophagus, which I wish I could take. But uh, yeah, I think we're going to take the Riddle Form here, see if we can get to that Blue-Red Spells deck. Um, Blue-Red's okay. Um... But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll take the riddle form. Give it a shot. Okay. Pretty easy spell weaver. Another decent two drop. Reduced to rubble is pretty meh. It's just a very expensive mana leak most of the time. So I think we're just going to take the, the spell weaver here. We'll get another good two drop. We got quite a few. So the curve is looking pretty low to the ground right now. Let's see what we can do. All right, keep them coming. Mm. Picking this over the Thorned Moloch and a Hieroglyphic Illumination. So from this first pack, it looks like we're doing the right thing. We're going to need some more spells, of course, for our prowess creatures um, in riddle form. But hopefully those aren't too hard to come by. Oh, this is the wheel. So we didn't wheel anything as predicted. I'm just going to take this thing. Hope we don't have to play it. It's just trash, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Please take that. Okay. 
I mean, technically it is a thing that does stuff. I don't know. Uh, I'll take Brute Strength. Can be good. Maybe it's a finisher in this type of deck. I mean, it's pretty good on Spell Weaver and Burning Fist and even Earthshaker Counter if you cast both of them in the same turn. Yeah, we didn't wheel shit. That sucks. We'll take Winds of Rebuke over Hooded Brawler, which did wheel, uh, which could mean that there's like no other green drafter here because both of the green cards wield. I'm just going to take that speculatively. Pursue Glory, I guess. Okay. Hmm. Okay. We'll crash, lose a card, we'll play. As is tradition, we open trash. Um, and we're not anticipating getting anything. So I have two spell weaker turn spell weaver eternals and a riddle for me. So I could take cartouche. I'd be taking it over crash through, uh, ramanap ruins. Maybe I should just. And then I would have what three good man. I think I'm just going to take the uh, the cartouche here and speculate on that. Maybe I wheel one of these. Maybe I wheel the crash through anyway. I'm not committed to blue. All right. Tiered, pretty easy sand strangler over puncturing blow. It's a cartouche of ambition in here as well and a solidarity one. almost didn't see this bad boy. I was going to take a puncturing blow. All right, so... Where's the deserts? Hmm. So we need deserts and removal, eh? There's no playable cards for us here other than if we are to go green, we could take the Rona Stalwart. Which we may still. All right, Pathmaker Initiate, Hooded Brawler, Supreme Will. Hmm. So what is better is the question. I think um, the more th thematically appropriate cards are gonna be the red and blue ones. They work better together. Um, but the power level, I think, lies with the green and red. So I'm going to take a Hooded Brawler here. I get somewhat punished because I think I would have liked one of these. Take the Zealot, I guess. Pick red when we can. And now I can get a green desert. Oh, Aerial Guide would have been sweet in this deck. All right, we're going to take the desert, and it looks like we're going to commit to green, or try to. F essence scatter? Shit. Take Tormenting Voice. Okay. So we're looking up. Ronus is stalwart number two. Did wheel that crash through, and every blue card in there. I don't think we want to play Crash Through in Green Red, but maybe. And we're going to keep these blue cards in here. Um, if we wheel, then we may want to speculate on some blue cards in case we open up like a bomb or something. Um, and our red, the red shell that we have obviously works much better with blue prowess creatures uh tormenting voice to crash throughs but we do have a lot of creatures here out of the 17 cards we've picked so far we have 11 creatures six spells that's pretty good Uh, so I could take Greater Sandworm 
or the second crash through, or third crash through. I think I'm just going to take the sand one there. Uh, crypt secret insight. Nothing really there to think about. This dude does not know how to pick cards. Very slow. Very slow. Okay, Supreme Will Wield. Countervailing Winds Wield. Okay. Our only desert is in green as well, to note. And Naga Oracle. Well, we open trash. And a spell we've returned. Oh my god. There is literally. Wow. I, I think we've just opened the worst possible things. Um, I could take the desert. Oh, I didn't want to click like that because I was debating between that or another spell we've returned. I guess uh, I'm taking the desert. Ooh, a braid. Magma spray. Cartouche, cartouche, wow. See, why couldn't just like one of these have been in our opener? Hmm. We'll see what we get. I feel like um, we shouldn't have pivoted into green if we would have stayed the blue course. I think the deck would have been better for it. Hmm. Edifice is great. I think, do I want that or Puncturing Blow, though? Let's, I mean, our curve, we're so aggressive, right? So I think we would rather have a Puncturing Blow here. It just gets rid of attackers. We don't really care about attackers. And I know we're red, so... Yeah, I think we'll just take the puncturing blow. Shoot. Well, I guess I'll take another one. Oh, Firebrand Archer is perfect for us here. Seeing a lot of Ronus's stalwarts and things. Could definitely use a red desert. <laughs> Well, we got a green one. All right, so what cards are we happy to play? It's between Thorned Moloch and the Green Desert. I guess I'm going to take green here. We just need it for the Sand Strangler. Bloodlust Insider, Hieroglyphic Illumination. Wish I could take that. Ugh. God, I'm just going to take the one drop. Alright, so it looks like we're green. Fuck. Right, should have should have committed to blue. So we need one more playable. Oh my god. What the fuck? Still need one more playable. Maybe Oronis' Stalwart Wheels bills us out. Doesn't look like it. Peel. No. Crash through. Gross. Cartouche. We'll play a cartouche. Alright, what else do we have in the board? Damn. More crash throughs. Okay. Yeah, I mean the the correct lane was definitely red blue, hundred percent. But uh, you know, we guessed wrong. We were distracted by those late um, whatever's who's and what's it's. Uh, we were distracted by a late hooded brawler. That being said, I don't think the deck is bad. It's, it's medium, it's not great, but uh, I think it definitely would have been better with a bunch of Spellweaver Eternals and shit. Um, yeah. So let's go for it. Let's give it a try. Alright. Don't like to predict wins and losses with these, but... Uh, So we won't. All 
All right. Let's definitely keep two drop, three drop, magnet spray. Yeah, that's gonna die. Oh, thank you. Go away, Boros. Oops. All right, come on, Peter. So, I'm just going to swing and exert. Play the brawler here. Then next turn, um, we can double spell or puncturing blow or something. Play something crazy. Okay, so, so let's start with a crash through. Let's see what we draw. Okay, okay. So you can discard and trade. I don't know if I like that. All right. So I think we're on the abraid plan here. So. He definitely could have uh, the three to whatever thing, or the three damage to blocker. We'll see if he discards. Okay. Now nah, he has the impeccable timing. Of course he does. Yeah, I mean he played it correctly. So he didn't have to discard. Yep, he had it. Um, now I can do this though. Fight and kill the Mino. Yeah, probably best. Oh, of course, of course, of course. Ugh. Yeah, <laughs> what a great draw. All right. Um, I'll just, you know, whatever. I'll just let him do his thing. I don't know how many creatures I have in this deck. Should probably figure that out, huh? have 12 creatures in the deck okay so I have that dead right now Oh my god, of course. Of course! Of course. He just has the perfect draws, and then we get flooded. So, that's how that goes. Alright, seven uh, mana. Okay. Okay. Oh my fucking Christ. Whatever. Just go away. Oh. 
Oh, wow, look at that. Look at what we did. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, um, we can start hitting them for two. Not this turn, but next turn. Mm -hmm. There we go. So desert. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Okay. It's nine land down. Yeah, right. No. Yeah, nine land. Cast out number two. I think I'm going to Tormenting Voice here and pitch the Brute Strength. I have one magma spray left. No, I don't. I have no removal left. Well, I have a sand strangler. Removal, of course. And now we'll draw land. Okay. So we've drawn 10, 11. He's drawn one, two, three, five. All right, drawn the same amount of land. And we've drawn five more cards than they have. All right, so we're dead. We are pretty dead. Yeah, we are dead as fuck. Yep, we're dead. We're dead. Yep. I 
think we're literally, there's nothing we can do. And you just do three fucking four lands in a row, and that's it. I mean, yep. Opponent had it all. Better deck. Better cards. That's it. That's how it goes sometimes. Drew perfectly. Um, I don't have any fucking creatures. You know, 12 goddamn creatures. In a double brute strength, double crash through deck. So, yeah, the deck sucks. There's also that. And he just had all the removal ever. So, there you go. And he did probably three more creatures in this deck. And then taken out both crash throughs. And then uh, one of the. Um, brute strengths and then the deck would have been fine but we didn't we didn't get there now we can't even get a fucking match there we go So definite keep. Okay, that was a quick draw. Alright, so if they play a two drop, obviously I play Kenra, make sure it can't block. If not, we'll just play Ronus' stalwart and swing for two. No, no, we're fucked. Okay. Okay, the power less than or equal to, yep. It's good. Of course, they have like the perfect two drop to beat this deck. Of course they do, right? And the perfect three drop. They've just got it all. Oh, well, they shouldn't have done that, but... I mean, they have perfect cards, so there's nothing we can do. Um, yeah, there's literally nothing we can do. Yep, they just drew perfect, perfectly against this, which isn't, like, it's an, common and an uncommon. It's just we play against, whenever we have a good hand, our opponents always have the perfect counter. Just always happens every time. I don't know why it doesn't happen to others. I don't know. It doesn't happen to other streams when I watch. Definitely happens to us, though. So I guess, I mean, if we could top deck a puncturing blow, we can get out of this. But other than that, no. We're fucked. We are fucked. Why would we top deck anything of use? I guess this is good as mine. Alright, so let's so, attack. Play Zealot and give it haste, which is good. Um, I guess, yeah. He's got to do something about the Burning Fist Minotaur here. Okay. It's not going to do it. It's one white. Yeah, Cartouche, I guess, would have been the only thing I could have done there.
This still can't be blocked. So I'll just do it. Okay. Sweet. Um, I guess I'll just kill that. Maybe that was a stupid attack. It was probably a stupid attack. Next turn we play Stalwart if he doesn't play a three-power creature and we swing in again. Oh god, he's leaving up mana now. That's not good. It's gonna get countered, I imagine. Okay. Um what are you gonna tap it? Oh. Now you're gonna tap it. I'll swing with the Minotaur. I guess I don't care. Um, about that greater sandworm or the well, I want the strangler, I think. Sure. Now do I cycle worm? I don't know. I think I do. Because hmm. I need removal. Okay. God damn it. Should have fucking known it would have been useless. Yeah, I should have known my shit's useless. Alright. Um. So he has to block. Um, he has to put something on this. Do I play the land? What do I have that six in this deck? Nothing. Uh, just the curd version of that. So if I draw, uh, I think I'm just gonna keep that. Should have them here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So if I brute strength and discard, I put him to two. Put brute strength there and discard. This would put him to four. So I think I'm going to. I could kill this and that. I think that's pro well. Then I need to draw land. And this way, I can just play the damn land next turn. Maybe I shouldn't have played the brute strength. I need, no, I don't think that's right. Okay. So he taps one. I think he. I think he's dead on board. I think he's dead on board. Okay. I mean, he has four mana available, so who knows, but... Huh. He has a way to deal with the Kenra. It's pretty bad for us. Okay. Well... I think this is just better right now. So I'll make it so we can't block with the those who serve. And then... We'll see what he does. Yeah, okay. That was tough. Our opponent was on the back foot the whole game. Um, but they just never turned the corner. They never did. Um, they did have an amazing draw against us. Like, and we drew actual none of our removal that game. <laughs> yeah. So any of that removal obviously would have ended it a lot quicker. But see what we got. First two opening hands have been fantastic. Um, this one is not, but I do have a turn one play, so I think I'm going to make it. Hopefully draw land, then play this on two, this on three, I guess. Can always cycle the sandworm as well. Have we been on the draw every single game? Yeah, this is the third in a row we've been on the draw. So I guess we'll just see what we top deck and determine if we play the desert. Shit. <clears throat> I'm greedy. <clears throat> oh god, fucking A. <clears throat> Should have known. Should have known. So if I draw a land, I play Stalwart next turn. Or if I draw in a forest, I play Stalwart. Then next turn, I play Scavenger, exert that discarding Sandworm to draw another card. I think that's the play. <coughs> I doubt it will happen, but that's the play. Okay. 
Oh, okay. I have to block that, unfortunately. Because it'll untap itself. So it just gets in three free damage. Doesn't seem good for me. So, I see exerts here. Could just get the cartouche of strength, get just butt fucked. Oh, sure, I mean, I'll try. Okay, um, this is mana efficient, but it does leave up magma spray, so we'll do it. Mana uh, inefficient, I don't know if I said that. So we know all the cards in his hand are action. Okay. Just gonna keep trading. Could have magma spray here. It's really bad for me. But I guess it is what it is. I kinda wanna hang on to this worm. Because red green does not have a lot of ways to deal with it. I will trade those two. I could swing in for nine next turn. I don't know. We'll see what he does. Cartouche of Strength on Soul Scar Mage kills the Brawler, so it could just really fuck me. Gonna puncturing blow that if I don't draw an answer. Yeah. <laughs> Always feels bad whenever you play a creature and put it with the minus one, minus one creatures, you put it on a different one. Oh, fuck me. Shit in my dick. I don't know if he'll trade it though. Oh, okay. Well, that's good for us. Only a, okay, any creature. Another one. Okay. I can put him to six this turn, so I don't know if he's gonna want to attack. Okay. So he goes to four next turn. With just the ability. Okay. I 
think he's dead. Oh shit! That did not work how I thought it would. What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. That was fucking bullshit. And that just cost us the game. That straight up cost us the fucking game. Holy shit. We had the win. We had the win on board. Yeah, we had the win on board. That the, We had the win that turn. That was game, and I just I didn't read the fucking card. And now we're going to lose. Oh my god, what a fucking idiot. I am very stupid. I'm very bad at video games. Holy shit. Oh my god. Yeah, we're dead. We're just straight up dead now. Just six. Yep. Lost the game. It's our own stupidity. Uh, cycle. Let's land. Yep. I'm a fucking moron. Wow. Well, how embarrassing. How fucking embarrassing. Whenever any... I thought it was if a source you control deals non-combat damage to a creature you don't, it would do the minus one, minus one counters thing. Didn't fucking read the goddamn card. What an idiot. Win on board. Win on on fucking board. So goddamn dumb. Again, on the draw. I mean, any of these, the, both the games we lost, we would have won if we were on the fucking play. Four games in a row now on the draw. God, what a fucking more. Oh my god, I'm stupid. Guess I just do this. Cartouche of ambition, I'm imagining. Now we get totally rocked by Cartouche of Ambition, which I'm sure he has, because he was highlighting my shit earlier. Mm, okay. <laughs> Leaving his shit back. Um, so I guess I abrade. What? Well, he can't cycle. Then I play Scavenger and exert with Stalwart, discarding the land. Wow, I'm dumb. Okay. So I can puncturing blow that and then swing with both. It's probably okay. 
Oh, he's got something? Or is he going to try to mill me? Or himself? No? Okay. Um, I do want the land here, I think. And then we'll just swing normally and trade for that Scorp. Scorp for the Scavenger. Brute strength, so we'll see what he does. Final reward. Wow. Okay. Sure. I mean, nothing I can do about it. Okie dokie. Gonna puncturing blow that. I mean, I have to, right? So I do this. Puncturing blow. Hit for two. There's one in his grip, so he needs something pretty good here. Um, or else, yeah, we should be able to win. Does have final reward. Okay. Put him to four, and then uh, he's out of cards, so. Oh, that's a sick draw. Should be game here. I'll probably double block. Really? Okay, well, just do this. Yeah, he's dead either way. Alright. Drew very well. <laughs> very fucking well. That game. Still punted the, uh, the one before, so no excuses, but... Should have been three and on, or two and two, fighting for our lives here, back against the wall. We'll see how we do. Man, I have not streamed in a while. I am tired. I had some surgery and shit. I'm trying to, you know, live and all that, whatever, all that good, good stuff. Well, wow, what a terrible hand. What a fucking horrible hand. Let's keep it. Oh my god. This is bad. We have, like, cards that are playable, so we're just gonna play them. Um, I think I'll play Minotaur first. Hopefully he doesn't play another one of those. Counter that. He wants to. No? Okay. Right. Swing for four. Okay. He has three mana up. What is he doing? Yeah, I mean, he's got something. Uh, probably impeccable timing there.
tanking hard. Ah. All right. Cool. It's going to trade there. Interesting. Um, all right. Fine. Shit. flooded so it doesn't matter to me to trade that and then he'll, he'll spend two turns doing this and that's fine so next turn I'll play Ronis stalwart yes draw forest oh fuck whoa that's a fucking blowout all right so play Ronis stalwart a mountain. Puncturing blow that, I guess. I'd rather just play Stalwart. Um, God, this is a blowout. So I could play a land, actually. Oh, no, I already played a fucking land. What am I doing? This gets me six for that. I kind of want to save that. Um, I can't just point. Fuck. All right. Whoops. Hey, there we go. Um, I'm gonna do this. And uh, see, I kind of want a puncturing blow that even initiate too, though. So maybe I will attack here. And uh, we'll just discard the other desert. It's fine. Should have played the desert. Fuck. Um, I'm not playing very well. I'm not playing very well at all. So if I draw an untapped, well, all I have are untapped lands left. So if I draw a land, I can play Kenra. Make it so this thing can't, blo or this thing can't block. And then swim with the team. I need a forest here. Looking really dumb playing this over the second desert. It's a good target for... Uh, there we go. Play this then, I guess. And then swing with the 4-4. Four, four. Now if he wants to tap out and bring this back. That's awesome. That means that I know he's not going to be able to counter shit. Well, he didn't do that. Fuck. Okay. Um, so I guess we'll just do this and discard. It's the worst possible fucking thing that could happen. Um, this isn't the worst. That's the worst. Okay. So he has great blocks on me. So we're just going to do this. Let's see what happens. I think he's still going to double block there, but... oh. I don't know why he would do that. That was, that was poor, I think. Oh, well, if he knew he was going to top deck like that, I guess. 
So, um, I can make it so swings for three, and that can't block, and then he has to what? And be a five five. We'll go cartouche here on you, and make it so that thing can't block. So is he going to trade there? I think I'd rather do this. This just seems better for me. But I mean, if he draws a cycling card, we're kind of fucked. I don't know why he's playing his lands. That's pretty good. So we're going to exert... And then we can swing with both. Now we could have a cycling card. Any cycler kind of fucking kills us, but whatever. It allows him to eat a creature. Okay. So he's got something. Cycling. Hmm. I don't know if that was correct. I don't think it was for him to do that. Because this is objectively the more dangerous creature. Ah, okay. Alright, so if this resolves, we just win. I mean, if we can activate it, so. Hmm. He's going to draw for an answer. All right, he didn't find it. All right, so we made it to three wins, uh, which is, you know, the first key win marker you want to see in uh, in Arena because that you get a 750 gem bump. You're still losing 500 gems if, if you lose this one. Obviously, if we didn't punt that second game, uh, we would have been at four wins and uh, uh, been sitting pretty uh, in four wins and one loss. Um Five wins is when you start making gems, and we get another 400 gem bump if we win this game. So the third and fourth games are the most important to get to. If you get to four wins, you're going to have a great time. All right, so oh, we're on the draw. Not a great hand at all, but um, we do have a one and a two drop. We have colors. No magma spray. Okay, surprised. <laughs> I didn't see that. Uh oh. So it looks like he's stuck on colors. Um, this is looking really, really good. He needs to find something here because we have a Kenra to stop whatever he blocks with and brute strength next turn. So if he doesn't do anything here, he's got to. Uh-oh, he's discarding. Yeah, I think this one's over. Um, do I want to play this? Is it necessary? I think it's good those extra two. Good, here we go. All right, whatever, you can't block. Oops. Swing. All right. Um... He didn't get his lance, so he kept the two lander, didn't find him. And we drew very, very well. So, very, very well. That dude was dead twice over. Well, not, but uh, I, I don't think, uh, well, maybe. I mean, he just didn't get his lands. 
we had one drop, two drop, two drop, two drop. And uh, in this format, you need to hit your lands. He was on the draw, though, so we don't know what he kept. Uh, he cycled as well. So he even had two extra draws, and he didn't find it, so that really sucks. It was just a bad, bad rip for our opponent. All right, four wins, another key milestone. <laughs> Not a great hand. We're on the draw. Okay. So this is our seventh game. In our sixth game, we've been on the draw for. Yep. Opponent mulled. Okay. I think we will crash through here. Next turn, we'll play the Mino. Uh... It's getting in there. Ooh, this is this is sketchy. But here we go. Could be a cartouche of strength here. And that fucks us pretty hard. It just exerts I knew it. I fucking knew it. They always got it. They always fucking got it. Of course. Fucking course. Yeah, we're just going to get aggroed out because we had the misfortune of being on the draw. Um, it's not worth it, is it? No. <sighs> no. It's possible I should have just abraded there because I'm taking three more. Okay. So now I have to abrade the stalwart, or I can try to cartouche the dauntless save, and that might be better for me. Okay. Let's um. So I can cartouche here, but then I take three more. If I don't, it's still really bad for me. Uh, I can, yeah, maybe I should just cartouche. No, then I take, yeah. Um, let's just do this. If he has another cartouche, I think we're, we're really fucked. We're like extra double fucked, but... So if he taps my scavenger, that's good. That's a good. That's good news. Another fan bearer, not good. Okay. Okay. Now, I mean, ideal draw, of course, is a desert off the top, but obviously not. So we can do this. We can abrade, and we can get in there. I think we have to swing. Gust Walker, not good for us. Not good at all. Um, I could offer a trade. this and uh I'll swing with both see if we can get up uh that was probably a mistake because when is he ever getting four mana to tap two things down So if he draws a land, we're just dead on board, right? We're just fucking dead. Because he had the perfect card, you know? He had the perfect fucking card. 
graveyard to your hand. Yeah, if he draws a land here, we're just dead. Uh, probably mistake. Nope. He's not there yet. So I can cartouche and exert. Cartouche. I can't take five, though, you know? So what do I do? I guess. I think I still have to. I think we'll just swing regular then. Take three, and I need to draw. Okay, yeah, we're dead. We are screwed. And he has two mana available to tap. Yeah, there's just nothing we can do here. Two or less power, two or less. Okay. So desert off the top or I'm dead. Yep, of course. Like literally I think I'm dead. It's a fucking land, of course it is. Yeah, so we got screwed there. Um, so he taps that, swings for five, just dead. So he can exert, untap, I have to chump, he can tap this, he can tap whatever the fuck he wants, really, but... Oh. I don't think I'm dead on board. Okay. I'm not dead. Ah! I didn't see that. He's smarter than me. Uh -huh. Alright. Well. Opponent had it all. Mold of six. Just had perfect draws. That's it. You know. That is it. Stuck on three land, don't matter. Don't matter. All right, four and three. Not bad. Uh, you know, what are you gonna do? So, all right, well, uh, I'll try again.